Welcome to the Expect Success Podcast, a presentation of georgebollock.com with your host, George Bollock. This podcast is for all things personal development. Don't expect success, prepare for it. Please welcome your host, George Bollock. Welcome to Expect Success at georgebollock.com. Now, in addition to listening to our podcast, you could also view the video format on YouTube at georgetube.com. Ryan Holiday is an American author, marketer, entrepreneur, and founder of the creative advisory firm Brass Check. He is a media strategist, the former director of marketing for American Apparel, and a media columnist and editor-at-large for the New York Observer. Today, Ryan talks about summum bonum, or the highest good. The idea being that we must always strive to do the highest good no matter if it is convenient for us or not. Listen to Ryan. Ulysses S. Grant, he always had this lifelong hatred of slavery. He was, his father had been an abolitionist. He was opposed to slavery. And then after he he goes to West Point for college, he serves in the U.S. Army, fights in the Mexican-American War. He he goes through some really, really hard times. He basically bounces out of the army. He's struggling. He's, He's actually selling like firewood by the side of the road to make his living. He's trying to eke out survival on this tiny piece of land that he has. He is as poor as poor can get. And through his wife, he ends up inheriting a slave. And so he had this objection to slavery on sort of moral, ethical grounds. And here in this moment, he's doing all this backbreaking labor by himself. And for free, he inherits a human being who would literally be his slave, who could do all this work for him, who could make his life so much better, he could help Grant provide for his family, he could help him get out of this, you know, cycle of poverty that he's in. So he's he's basically tested, right? We all have our ideals, we have what we, how we think the world should be, but we're not actually forced to put those principles on the line in in any real way. And what I think is so interesting about this story is that was Grant being tested in a way that even the Civil War didn't test him. And so what does he do? He inherits his slave. He can afford basically nothing. Even if he didn't want to own a slave, he could sell the slave and use the money to, to, to seriously improve his life. But he's opposed enough to slavery that he manumits the slave. His name is William Jones. He gives him his freedom, which means Grant gets nothing in return for it, except that it was the right thing to do. And so there's this wonderful quote from Marcus Aurelius. He says, just that you do the right thing, the rest doesn't matter. There was a bunch of reasons why Grant could have contradicted his beliefs. He could have done the thing that was better for him personally, even though it was what he had in the abstract previously said he, he didn't want to do, but he didn't do it. He, he did the hard thing. He did the right thing, even though it was the hard thing. There's this idea in philosophy, it comes from Cicero, he calls it the summum bonum, and it, it means the highest good. It's, it's the idea of virtue, erite. The, the highest good is virtue. It's the only thing that matters. And I think that's what Marcus was saying. He's like, you gotta do the right thing. No excuses, no explanations. You do what you know in your heart is right, and then you figure out the consequences. And what's so beautiful to me about that grand story is that was it in action. Yeah, sure, he goes on to serve bravely in the Civil War. He fights to free the slaves. He fights to keep America as one country. But it's really in the 1850s in this private moment when he is given a chance to have the benefits of slavery at none of the costs when he could have come up with a bunch of ways to rationalize doing the wrong thing for the sake of his family, for the sake of his 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 body, for the sake of, of the fact that he was uh, on the verge of terrible poverty, but he didn't, he did the right thing. And, and I mean, one of the reasons I keep the coin in my pocket is a reminder of that idea that we've got to do the right thing because it's the right thing. And there's no excuses. The rest doesn't matter. What matters is that you do the right thing. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe below for more content from us at Daily Stoic. That's awesome. For more about Ryan Holiday, simply search YouTube and be sure to visit his website, ryanholiday.net. His best-selling book, Stillness is the Key, is available at his website and or amazon.com. And remember, as the late great Jim Rohn used to say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Today, you've been hanging out with Ryan Holiday. 
Keep up the momentum. Subscribe to our newsletter so you never miss another episode. We'll catch you on the next show. And thanks a million for listening. See ya. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Expect Success Podcast with your host, George Bollard. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please rate, subscribe, and review. And find more great content online at georgebollock.com and on Facebook and Twitter at George Bollock. We'll catch you next time. And remember, don't just expect success, prepare for it.